Louisiana Beer Reviews recorded at Mathern Supermarket, Laplace, Louisiana. Today we're looking at Shiner Ruby Redbird. Ruby Redbird is a summer seasonal. It's been out about two years. 4.2% uh, alcohol, 13 international bitterness units. Now, uh, interesting thing about this beer, it's made with ruby red grapefruit juice from the area in Texas along the Rio Grande, Rio Grande near the Mexican border, and ginger and other natural flavors, whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, an average score on Beer Advocate. 19 out of 100 on Ray Beer and a 22 out of 100 for the style. So let's see how it stacks up against those reviews. So this cap that's convenient. Look at all that smoke that popped out of there. All that water vapor. Put it in this tasting glass. I mean, this shelf glass. Still a lot of smoke trailing out. Now it has a medium white head and a clear, very bubbly old gold, I'll call it an old gold appearance, deep gold. The head is going to fizz right away. That tends to happen with these vegetable or fruit type beers. The aroma. This is so, <laughs> I drank one last night, it's so full of grapefruit. If you like red grapefruit, you'll love this beer. It's just a rush of the grapefruit, zest, and maybe a little bit of white bread. So it really does live up to the description on the website that it's so fruity. And you get a little bit of that ginger in there also. Let's go with the flavor. It's, it's so grapefruit. Grapefruit oriented. You just get that grapefruit, that touch of ginger, um, there's no bitterness really except that, you know, you get the citric type bitterness, there's no really no hot bitterness, a little bit of white bread, and some sweetness, of course, um, the mouthfeel is mostly light and watery, but not totally light and watery, but in that area, and the finish is very dry, refreshing here at 6.50 in the morning, and it's extremely drinkable. Flavored beer, beer is a controversial, you see people, some people love them, some people hate them. I've often displayed a bad attitude toward them because I always looked at it as like cheating, but I, I know they have their place. Um, and there's really nothing wrong with it, $6.99 for a six pack something to have in the summer, something to try out. It's, it's certainly worth trying. I mean, I'll give it a B. It's a good beer. And I don't think it was created to be some world-class, extraordinary beer that's going to change the course of beer history. It just created to be a novelty, warm weather product. So, within that range of uh, Within that little subcategory, it's uh, you know it's appropriate. It's very good in that kind of area. So, Les les bons temps This is a good beer and interesting for sure. Can't say it's not interesting. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Matherns and check out their huge beer selection.